What's up guys, Axis here with the third episode of my tips and tricks series and today I'm going to be teaching you about scripts or expressions in After Effects. So um, scripts or expressions are basically a way of animating um, like an object without using like a number of keyframes over and over again. So um, first I'm just going to do an example of a circle animation and it's basically, I've used this a couple times, I've used it in this thrust intro which I'm going to be using the example for. Um, so basically first off um, I'm going to create a light so I'm going to do Control shift alt and L or you can go into layer, new and light but I'm just going to use a shortcut and I'm going to change the colour to white. This is kind of also a kind of lighting tutorial I guess but not really going to get into much depth into that. So I'm just going to create a white light at 100% intensity. I'll press OK and as you can see your light will be uh, created in the scene and if you don't have this it's because you haven't ticked 3D here. So on all your um, layers or uh, video footage make sure all these little 3D boxes are selected and if you can't see them just click on the toggle switches at the bottom and it should bring up that. So um, once you've got your light in the scene, I'm just going to mess about with it. I'm going to bring back on the Z. You can also do this by pressing P on the light and you'll be able to adjust the Y, X and Z there. So um, I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle uh, just to kind of focus on the thrust logo. And um, now I'm going to create the other uh, light which is I'm going to put in colour. So I'm going to put it in um, a blue because that's the main colour that I used in this intro. I'm going to put it, uh, I'll adjust the intensity once I've got it and see what it looks like. Right, so that's a bit intense in fact. So um, I'm going to click on the light and press T and then lower the intensity down. I'm also going to press P. Oh, not all. And um, I'm going to bring the Z in. So as you can see the light is more focused on one point now. So in fact I might bring up the intensity just so you can see more what is happening in this intro with the expression. Right so I'm going to put it in the middle and if you don't know where the middle is or you can't find it, go into here and go to title slash action and safe, which will bring up kind of like a heads up display kind of thing, um, showing you where the middle is. And um, now what we're going to want to do is, if you haven't already, select your light, press P, hold Alt onto the keyframe, and I'm going to be pasting in a uh, expression because I never get it right. <laughs> um, I found this on videocopilot.net, it's a really awesome site run by Andrew Kramer. I learned a lot of stuff from him on After Effects. Um, he's done like stuff for uh, Star Trek, and he's done like optical flares, the plugin and stuff. So yeah, definitely go and check that website out if you want to learn more about After Effects. But in the forums, I found this um, expression to animate in the circle. Um, so once you've got that up and you've got the little expression box, you, I'm going to just copy it and paste it in. I'll leave a link in the description for it for you. And as you can see, it's in. And you can adjust all these to your liking. So as you should be able to see now, it might be a bit laggy, but if I click on the light, you should see that it's moving around in a circle. You could do this with any object you want, but I'm just going to use a light. Kind of creates like a hazard hazard effect, I guess. Um, but I think that it's circling like not very much so I'm going to go into the radius and change that up to about 300 and as you can see that will go out further and you'll see a different kind of effect there also you can adjust the speed and um, yeah it's also it's just a really good script so a really simple one you could do is you could grab your optical flares which really is an essential plugin for making intros, I'd say. 
and just um but I'm just gonna leave it on the normal stock flare just to save time and my computer from blowing up because it seems like it is now um so once you've got your optical flares I'm going to actually go into the animation evolution and if you change that you can see that it kind of twinkles and I want to do that without having to keyframe everything so I'm going to click alt on the animation evolution and I'm going to change it to I'm going to do time times 5 which will basically do a full rev uh, resolution, uh, call it, uh, evolution of uh, this effect over five seconds. So um, it'll be quite slow. You should be able to see the effect happening, and if you can't really see it, you can change it up to I don't know, like 25 or something. As you can see, it twinkles over time like that. Um, you can also do this with um, basically any effect. You could do it with the uh, brightness, but this plugin already has a flicker on it, so you could just use that, and it kind of creates the script automatically for it. Um, yeah, so that's basically the um, gist of like scripts and everything in After Effects. Um, so yeah, you can pretty much find a script for anything in After Effects. For any kind of animation, so um, just go on Google and look it up. <laughs> That's basically how I learned um, how to do like scripts and stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Kind of an interesting tutorial today, a bit different. Um, so remember to like and comment suggestions for the next tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.